This lesson is on ordering and comparing fractions or putting them in order from least to greatest. For example, if I'm given this set of fractions, 4 ninths, 2 ninths, 6 ninths, and 1 ninth, and I'm asked to put them in order from least to greatest. First thing that I'd ask is, are my denominators the same throughout all four fractions? And the answer is yes, they're all 9. So now it's really quite simple to put them in order from least to greatest. All I have to do is look at the numerators and find which one's the smallest. One is my smallest numerator, so that one would come first. One ninth. Two is my next smallest numerator, so it would come next. Two ninths. Four is my next smallest numerator, so it would come next. Four ninths. Then six ninths. And now these four fractions are in order from least to greatest. Now it gets a little trickier when the denominators are not the same throughout. For example, if I have one half, one four sixths, and two fifths, my denominators are not the same. So what I need to do is make them the same, quite similar to what we do when we add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. We are going to list our multiples for each denominator first find the least common multiple or the least common denominator and then fill in our numerators. So let's do that. We start with 2 and we list our multiples for 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now we're going to list our multiples for 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, now we're going to list our multiples for 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now for 6 and 5, our least common multiple is 30. Now we need to ask, is 30 going to be a multiple for 2? And the answer is yes, because it's even. But let's double check and make sure. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. We were right. Our least common multiple or our least common denominator is going to be 30. So now we need to write our equivalent fractions with 30 as their common denominator and fill in the numerator. We fill in our numerators by dividing in the basement and multiplying in the attic. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. 15 times 1 is 15. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Now we have three new fractions with common denominators. 15 thirtieths, 20 thirtieths, and 12 thirtieths. Now all we have to do is figure out least greatest. Well 12 thirtieths is smaller than 15 and 20 thirtieths. So therefore, with this given set of fractions, 2 fifths is going to be the smallest fraction. 2 fifths is our least, uh, our least fraction, smallest fraction. Our next one would be 15 thirtieths. But we're not going to put 15 thirtieths. We're going to put the original fraction, 1 half. Our biggest fraction is 20 thirtieths. But we're not going to put 20 thirtieths. We're going to put 4 sixths. So now these original three fractions are in order from least to greatest. Two fifths, one half, and four sixths. Let's look at another example. If I have these three fractions, one sixth, two fourths, and two thirds, and I'm asked to put them in order from least to greatest. First thing that I do is I say, are my denominators the same? The answer is no, they're not the same. So we need to make them the same by listing multiples. We'll start with 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Next we're going to do our multiples for 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Finally we're going to do our multiples for 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now we look and find our least common multiple or our least common denominator. And that will be 12. So our new denominator is going to be 12. 
Now we divide in the basement and multiply in the attic to find our numerators. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So our new fractions are 2 twelfths, 6 twelfths, and 8 twelfths. Now we need to put them in order from least to greatest. 2 twelfths is my smallest fraction out of my new fractions. So 2 twelfths will come first. But we're not going to write 2 twelfths. We're going to write 1 sixth. Our next biggest fraction is 6 twelfths. But we're not going to write 6 twelfths. We're going to write 2 fourths. And our biggest fraction is 8 twelfths. But we're not going to write 8 twelfths. We're going to write 2 thirds. So now these fractions are in order from least to greatest. 1 sixth two-fourths, and two-thirds.